Hello, this is our new quick preview of HRE3D, version 3.0. In this video you will see some of the new features in the upcoming new version. If you are a new user you can explore and watch all previous videos for the tool on our YouTube channel. Let's start with what's new in the HRE3D parameters window. Now this window is resizable and you can use it in multi-column layout. Or a single column layout. You can close any of the rollouts that you are not using. Or you can use it in default configuration as in the previous versions. Let's continue with the user interface improvements when building a model. We have new manipulators for position, rotation, scale, and radius. In the previous versions to set the position of any of these controls you have to select the control point, then select the move tool and then move the point to a desired position. Now it's much easier to set the position in any of move, rotate or select object mode. To create a new control point, hold shift key and drag any existing manipulator. This will create the new position point. Hold shift and drag, release mouse button and you have a new control point. If you want to delete a control point, just move it aside and release the mouse button. Again, click hold, move it to a side and release. This way you can delete any of the manipulator's control points. Let's see the rotation. As in the previous versions, to adjust the angle of rotation you can use the green arrow. And to move the position of the helper you can use the yellow circle. Now, to create a new control point, hold shift, click on the yellow circle and clone the new angle point. To delete it, move to the side and move away. It is the same for scale manipulator, move it by the yellow circle. Adjust the scale with the green circle. To create a new scale point, hold shift and drag. That's it. A lot easier than before. To adjust the radius of a branch or trunk level, use the yellow lines to set the position. Use shift drag to copy and create as many copies as you want. And to adjust the radius, move the green circle like this. If you don't like the result, just move it away. These were all new improved manipulators, which are going to speed up the process of building trees. Now let's see the position manipulator for the trunk. We can set the offset as before. If we have more than one trunk, we can set the offset for all trunks at the same time. If we select the second trunk, and scale it up, to make it bigger. With second trunk selected, we can adjust the position of the first and the second in the same time. Similar to the previous versions, you can use Modify Panel, to enter and set any of the manipulator's values. You can adjust the position P1, for the first trunk. Set it to 0. By selecting P2 for the second trunk, you can set Offset X to 0 and Offset Y to 300. You can work like this with all manipulator types. Now let's see the new parameters that you will be able to use in the new version of HRE3D. We have new distance parameter for branches and trunk levels. Now it's possible to set not only the count but also the distance. To do that, just set count to zero and then adjust the distance. This way when the size of trunks and branches varies a lot, you can set the correct count for more realistic appearance.
Let's set the trunk count to 1 and move on to the next new parameter. For the trunks and branches you can set the sides count not only to minimum of 3, but to a value of 2. Or even 1. This could be used for a very low poly models. The other new parameters are angle, twist, and R fix. You can set the angle and twist to bigger than zero values to achieve different and more interesting shapes. Our fix parameter is used to fix the size of the radius to the length of the current trunk or branch. If you set it to 0.5 this means that the radius of the trunk will be half of its length. That was when sides are set to 1. Let's see what will happen if we set them to 2. The result is the same tree with twice the polygon count. If you set our fix parameter to 0, you are going to use the radius control points of the trunk. Like this. Another new feature of this version is a new type of alignment for the rotation of the branches and the leaves. If we press rotation button, we can adjust the rotation of our branches. The result of this new alignment in many cases will be a more realistic tree. Let's compare the three options, world, parent, and local. Local alignment is very useful for the rotation of the leaves. If we select the level of the leaves and want to adjust the rotation, we can set the orientation to local. This way leaves will look a lot more interesting. Let's compare them with default value world. This is the world rotation. For the second tree we will change the rotation alignment for the leaves. To do that you can also directly select the helper that modifies this tree. And set the alignment of rotation to local. It is the same tree but it looks a little bit more realistic. Hope you enjoy this video. See you soon with new interesting products and updates from Avis Studio Tools.